The Hardwick Stakes is next. This is a one and a half mile group two. All the older horses, four year olds and upwards. Uh, let's take a look at the field. At the top we've got White Abari over Dan Hughes. Ypsilanti Malyun for Vinnie Gerard, that's unbeaten in two runs. House Hyden, Dan Hughes, stripped for Derek Hinton, Venetian King, Leon Van Rensburg, Wise Old Man, Munas, High Trapeze, Darren Thompson, Nature's Beauty, Leon Van Rensburg, Night Vision, David Robertson, and Santa Rosa Fruit for Vinnie Gerard. A field of 10. Facing the start of this time. Been a pretty wet Royal Ascot week, and away they go. Who's going to be the first one to pop out in front? Looks like Ypsilanti Malyun in a green jacket. He's going to try and get across the fence. I've got a turn or two to negotiate in this in this race, so it's going to be important not to get too wide. White Abario is also close up, stripped. Though he's just about the leader now. White Abario coming past them all, though, and he's going to get into the lead. He's going to get far enough in front to cut across to that fence if the jockey is of a mind to, which for some reason at the moment he doesn't appear to want to do. Which is a bit odd. So what a barrio in the lead. Stable companion House Hyden is in second. Then Night Vision is in third. With the Venetian King and Stripped and then Wise Old Man. And Santa Rosa Fruit. The second Vinnie Gerard was the third grey. And Ypsilanti Malyun, who was out pretty quickly, has now dropped to the back. But what a barrio has come across to the fence now. Leads by five. Inside the final mile from Night Vision and House Hyden and then Stripped. And Venetian King on the inside. Wise old man is trying to go between them. And Hydra Peas is also squeezed up for room. So to Nature's Beauty, the two Vinnie Gerards. And now they're back to Santa Rosa Fruit and Ypsilanti Malieu. But they've still got six furlongs to go. And White Abario is clearing the lead by four. To Night Vision Stripped and House Hyden. Virtually in a line with Wise Old Man. Also coming through there, and now he said go on House Hard, and that one's gone to join its stable mate, White Abario. So those two disputing the lead, although White Abario has kicked on again now. So White Abario by two, House Hard in second, then Wise Old Man is in third, Night Vision is in fourth, then Venetian King stripped, is losing its place. Santa Rosa Fruit is making some good ground, Hard Trapeze trying to go with that one. Ypsilanti Malu is going to need a little bit of a split, he's being boxed in by his stable mate at the moment, but it's White Abario, then with two and a half furlongs to go. White Abario is still in the lead from House Hard in second, Wise Old Man is third, Night Vision is fourth, then Venetian King on the inside, Santa a rose of fruit is next and then a little bit of a gap to high trapeze Ypsilanti Malyun taking some time to get going but White Abario is well inside the final half a furlong furlong and a half coming down towards the final furlong White Abario with House Hyden now coming to challenge on the outside House Hyden swoops into the lead it's House Hyden but here comes Night Vision wise old man Santa Rosa Fruit's almost four in a line Santa Rosa Fruit Night Vision Night Vision on this near side just I think from Santa Rosa Fruit Venetian King then wise old man Ypsilanti Malyun after that Took a long while to get going and left it too late. Well, it's closer than you think that, and there's a steward's inquiry as well. I thought David Robertson sort had won that on first run. But looking at that replay, I think it's a bit closer. And there's a steward's inquiry as well, just to make things even more interesting. And Night Vision has indeed won it. By a short head for David Robertson. Santa Rosa Fruit for Vinnie Gerald was second. Munas for Wise Old Man was th sorry, Wise Old Man for Munas was third. Venetian King for Leon van Rinsburg fourth. And Ypsilanti Malu for Vinnie Gerard was fifth. He's the last day of the first part of the season. <laughs> wise Old Man for Munas, not more. Munas for the Wise Old Man. <laughs> 